Hopefully everyone's having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on wherever you're tuning in the world. My name is EQ, aka The Certified Gem Hunter, and welcome to the Stonkaholic Space Station. On this video, we're going to be talking about Affinity, or EFI. This project is tied in with the engine ecosystem, and I would say is the utility within the engine ecosystem to buy. But before we get into this video, if you could take a second to throw a like on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, go check out our Crypto Accelerator program or our Discord group, that would all be greatly, greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get this intro rolling. Uh, Affinity token is currently ranked 358th on coin market cap, sitting at 83 cents per token, and it's sitting at 142 million dollar market cap. So this is still a gem. This is honestly one of my favorite picks going into 2022. I think this has serious potential. So let's get into this. Uh, Affinity has a total max supply of two billion, making it finite, making it deflationary. And currently at 169 million circulating supply, which is only 8%. Now, some of the things that caught my eye right off the bat, not only is this one of the top utilities or maybe the top utility coming out of the engine ecosystem, but they're also working with Polkadot as well. And the self-reported tags, you have Arlington. <clears throat> in the self-reported tags, you have Arrington XRP, Haskey, Hashkey. And in the self-reported tags, you have Arrington XRP Capital, Hash Key Capital, and Amoka Brands Portfolio, Kinetic Capital, Fimbushi Capital. So there's a lot of VC money in this project already. So considering that it's only at 142, is meaning really that it's a gem. So Affinity was built by Engine, but it was built on Polkadot and with Polkadot. So it's going to serve as the infrastructure for the decentralized cross-chain metaverse. This is some next level stuff. So their vision and their long-term goal is fantastic. Your latest release is the Alpha. It's currently an internal stage. They're processing 120 million tokens in one transaction with batches of 12,000 transactions. Now you have a cross-chain bridge. So NFTs created on other chains can be imported to Affinity using a bridge. You have incentives so traders, creators, and collectors are rewarded with EFI token. You have decentralized governance so EFI holders can submit and vote on proposals. Crafting so it allows NFTs to be modified or created via an off-chain message. Price discovery so users who bid on NFTs from any chain can receive EFI rewards. And finally, we have fuel tanks so creators can choose to subsidize costs for their users by depositing EFI aka making it so the gas fees are free for your users so right now currently with affinity you have six seconds of block time 20 million mints per second and 120 million nft mints and transactions per block if you're an og on this channel you know i've been talking about engine for a long time probably since the start if you're new to this channel welcome and yes engine is one of my top picks going into the long term that was founded in 2009 and since then they have grown a lot now, they've been working on NFTs and gaming NFTs for quite some time. They also looked into tokenized real estate and a lot of other really amazing projects. So the engine ecosystem powers everything from leading blockchain games to corporate engagement campaigns and enables millions of individuals across the world to safely manage and store the digital assets. In 2018, Engine made headlines by announcing the world's first gaming multiverse. And today, there's over 40 game developers utilizing the platform to create everything from next-gen fantasy RPGs to post-apocalyptic sci-fi games. Microsoft and Engine teamed up in 2020 to create Azure Heroes, a user engagement project that made the distribution and acquisition of tokens something that anyone, regardless of experience with blockchain, could participate in. Now, from concept to production, Engine developed a complete NFT project, including original... Ba Badger designs. From concept to production, Engine developed a complete NFT project, including original Badger designs that were used across Microsoft's token collection, swag, and merchandise, resulting in over 32,000 Azure Hero badges, resulting in over 32,000 Azure Hero badge NFTs created and distributed to over 6,400 mem community members across the globe. The products have also been used to power over 1,300 blockchain marketing campaigns, gamifying online engagement for blockchain industry for companies like Binance, CoinMarketCap, OKEx, which is OK Exchange, SwissBoard, Kyber Network, Changely, CoinGecko, and many more. While we already live in a blockchain-enabled world, utilizing NFTs has historically been difficult due to cost barriers, disorganized ecosystems, poor user experience, and technical limitations. Engine's vision is really to build a scalable cross-chain token network that makes it easy to create, use, and trade NFTs to make it more accessible, affordable, and faster, which thereby significantly increases the volume of trade and adoption. So this would enable NFTs to be utilized by virtually any industry, potentially unlocking trillions of dollars in currently illiquid and unique real-world and digital assets. 
and jumping into affinity businesses and developers seriously need a platform that can deliver a modern mainstream and developer friendly nft experience since the release of ethereum that have been attempts to build infrastructure and tokenization around this general purpose computing blockchain but there's an ever-growing thirst for a better solution creators are forced to work with crippling fees aka ethereum inflexible smart contracts and disjointed interoperability the adoption of today's nfts is still limited to die-hard crypto enthusiasts and the blockchains that nfts live on give actual users no incentives other than the price rising because miners are given the full share of generated tokens prices rise infrastructure companies create silos and paywalls and it becomes difficult to make real progress in this industry unless we can unify the community and think a bit differently blockchains like ethereum have become insanely expensive the average user might pay seven dollars on the low end to move a single token it's way more than that for ethereum affinity's purpose is to be an nft highway not a general computing blockchain and token creation transfers and purchases are the network's priority transaction fees on affinity are designed to stay in the background and allow users to experience their favorite collectibles without worrying about how the network operates so the way that Affinity incentivizes their program is to compensate network participants with the EFI token. So you have collator nodes, you have collator nodes who run the network, you have users who govern the direction of the network, you have buyers and sellers who facilitate price discovery, you have developers who propose projects built on Affinity that are eligible for grants from the community pool, and then you have early adopters and creators that increase their token value with bonding curves and liquidity. And finally, Affinity is going to be a hub for all fungible and non-fungible tokens. The pair token standard accepts tokens from any other chain, including ERC-721, ERC-1155, and ERC-20 standards. The, the network that solves the challenge of facilitating the pricing and exchange of NFTs will naturally gain traction because it will create network effects by attracting increasing volumes of transactions. So tokens don't even need to be listed for sale or even exist on the other network to receive a bid. In fact, users can be compensated for initiating bid orders or ask orders and stimulating network usage by initiating transactions which may be completed by other users. The mechanism will naturally attract buyers and sellers to join the network and create effects by incentivizing users to initiate transactions. This is huge. This is all next level stuff. I think long term on Affinity, I think this can easily push a $10 billion market cap. And as you can see, the Affinity Parachain slot was confirmed on the Parachain auctions through Polkadot. Now, if you want to get in this, this is going to be in March 2022. So we're still pretty early and we're talking about this way before this is actually going to drop. Now you have 200 million Affinity tokens that are going to be spread across the almost 7.7 .7 million DOT contributed in the crowd loan. That's around 26 EFI per DOT. This will be released literally over the 96 week Parachain period starting when we onboard the Parachain in March 2022. If you want to get into this very early, I would highly suggest looking into this parachain auction a little bit more, doing your own research. Keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. And let's get into the juicy juices, which is the chart. Now in Affinity, we are topping out on the bottoms. So we're looking at a CoinX chart because CoinX is our exchange of choice through our Discord group right now. So based on the CoinX chart, we are bottoming out. And within this relative range, this is all great buying opportunities for dollar cost averaging. Now this price can slip a little bit lower than that. And if we run out of floor, this could plummet down. We've seen this happen with other projects, especially if we fell out of this movement. So keep that in mind, that is a risk with a project like this. But if you do believe in it long term, and I think this does have a lot of success, then I think it will continue to have a lot of success. I'll be very happy with a 72 cent or lower buying an opportunity, even if I realistically, if you could squeeze anywhere in here, that's a blessing. But obviously, that's not financial advice. Uh, anything in this general area is going to look great. Now, what we're watching right now and with these potential trends and this area here is a little bit more of a pull down. We're getting close. Maybe we can test the lower range at the $7.20. And then from there, we might get this divergence pop in based on the MACD. If we get that divergence, we could get a really nice move. If you want to learn more about divergences and how to trade divergences, you can make sure to come join our Discord family and our premium accelerator program where we can take your trading to the next level. Now, keep in mind this project only has a hundred million dollar market cap or so keep in mind this only has a hundred million dollar market cap or so so even getting to a one billion dollar market cap is a 10x move two billion is a 20x move i don't think that's going to be anything crazy for this to achieve long long term i think this could reach a 10 billion and that's not really going to do anything because this could be the top utility for engine and i'm a huge huge advocate of engine and it has a lot of steam behind it and this is supposed to be one of the best years for engine so if you believe in the project and you always want to look for awesome utilities within those ecosystems, I think Affinity could be the utility 
that's used within the engine ecosystem and the one that can actually make a massive move and even get into the top 40, top 50 project list. And that's going to wrap up the video on Affinity. If you didn't get a chance to before, make sure to throw a like on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, go check out our Crypto Accelerator program and our Crypto Discord. We'd love to have you come join our family. Hopefully you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you're watching this in the world. And we'll catch you on the next one.